guys, Gary Great here, Charles Gracie Academy Reno. Uh, I got Glenn with me this week, gonna kind of finish up our uh, little series of cross side um, arm traps and stuff. So, a um, couple options in the last couple weeks. We've done a bunch of uh, um, step over arm traps and stuff. So this week, what I'm doing, same thing. I'm here cross side. Okay, I'm gonna sit out, clearing this arm, keeping my head down so he doesn't frame off on me. And what I'm doing, I usually switch to from here to an S grip on this. Um, for a couple reasons. One, it's a little bit longer grip, and two, I have a lot more dexterity in my wrist than I do here. And what I'm trying to do is, I'm here, I'm trying to start cranking on his neck, and I want this elbow to slide as far out to the top of his head as possible so I can get the most tension on his neck possible. If I keep it way down here, it's not really doing anything to him. I want to really crank on the neck. And also, I want him to feel like if he pushes it, it's gonna, he can push it off, because that's what I'm actually waiting for. So, I'm gonna start cranking on his neck here. Big thing I do is I don't want to drive this way again because I don't want to get rolled. And I want to swing my head down towards his feet. So if he tries to roll me, I'm able to let go. I also have my base is down there. If I'm over here, he's able to roll me down. So again, <laughs> sit out, right here, start cranking. And instead of driving this way, I'm going to swing my head and crank. And as he pushes that off, I'm going to use that momentum to step. As soon as his foot hits flat, I'm going to close it to his neck. This knee is going to be tight where it was underneath the shoulder. I'm squeezing my foot and knee together. So if he tries to pull that arm out now, the door should be shut. Right here, I'm keeping this arm tight. Okay. If you want, I can start to punch and everything I want to do from here. Um, what, what I'll end up doing from here is I'm keeping this arm. I want to cycle this knee straight under my leg, under his neck, so my knee ends up where my heel is. I don't want my foot to come out over here. I want to be able to drive and cycle this under. And then this is going to push. Once I get here, I want all the space right here. Once I'm down, I want to take it away. So close that and close this so that I can try to close my triangle. Get a triangle right there. Okay. Sorry. Also, the other options I have. So again, one more time on that. Boom, I sit out, swing my head, start cranking. He pushes, boom, here, close. Once I get this down, just with my cross feet or triangle, if you so, have, so be it, um, I have a wrist lock right here that's really easy to do because you can't hide that arm anywhere. You can just get on this wrist and wrist lock. I have an arm bar right here okay, that I can do. You can even wrist lock, lock that one if you want. Or once I get all the way through, what I'll do is I'm going to do a really quick hop right here. This foot pops right up in his armpit, shin, hip to hip. My right hip is touching his hip. If he tries to pull that arm down, it's right there. I have my arm lock. I can just come right here. Arm bar here. If you fall off, stay next to him. I can control both these legs, keep from rolling out, have my arm lock here. The farther out here I get, the looser that arm's gonna start getting and he'll get away. So it's a pretty easy little series. Um, again, just really quick, I'm sitting out, my head swinging my head, neck cranking, pushes, step, close this off. Okay? I can start to attack here if I want, start to attack here if I want. The best, cycle this through. And then from here, this leg's gonna push away. This leg's gonna push away and I'm gonna triangle, okay? From that triangle, I can arm lock, I can wrist lock, okay? If I wanna just go right here, I can just sit here and punch him all day long. He can't go anywhere. Okay, the other options I have, let's speak this way a little bit, just from crossed feet, is I can switch this here into a Kimura. If he puts that arm up here, I can switch to an Americana, which has no play at all. It's really easy to get. So there's a whole bunch of uh, options you can get in there too. No Glenn's got a sore neck and stuff, so I don't want to crank on it too much. But um, when you guys step over again, so you got wrist lock, arm lock, arm bars, triangles, all your strikes. You can set up your chokes, Kimuras, Americanas. You have a whole setup on that thing. So it works really good, no gi. Um, so anyway, uh, bjjvideo.com. That's it for this week. Thank you much.